There we go. <laughs> Friday Night Flies. You're live. Hello, and welcome to a Friday, the 13th of December edition of Friday Night Flies. Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> Merry Christmas! What we have here... Oh, let's lift him. Hand that camera down, bud. Yeah. There it is. This is a little fly we call the sedge hammer. It's a bit bigger than a caddis. More like a sedge, but it will imitate both. I use it year-round on the Birkenhead River when I'm not out killing. And it does pretty good. So we're going to... Uh, get down to it here and tie this fly. For this fly I'm going to use a number 10 dry hook. We got some deer hair. Use winter deer hair if possible because the uh, the fibers are nice and hollow. Make your fly float. I'm just going to use any old model filament I can. I got a old thing a tippet here so I'm going to use that. And we got a bit of hackle. So here we are, Friday night flies. We've been tying up lots of salmon flies tonight. We're going to tie up another little trout fly. So let's get going on the sedge hammer. By the way, if you're looking for a little stocking stuffer, these little babies are only $19.99 down here at Spud Valley. Damn good, too. I use mine for kindling. It's got the survival rope on it, a couple little notches for pulling her tight. Get some. Get it. We're just going to use simple black 6 off thread. Get to wrap, and wrap a decent base on here because uh, you don't want everything sliding all over the place. Here we go. I'm going to take a little snip of deer hair from my tail. Not too much, not too little. Got lots of fluff in there. Am I too close? Am I too far? I took a question right now. There we go. Yeah, you're right on the money, man. Right on the money. I'm gonna pull all that fluff out of there. It's down. Because the winter cape a winter winter deer hair will have lots of that down in there as well. Better my hair stacker. Give her Two down low, one up top. Good call. There we go. Can we uh, can we boom down a little bit? <laughs> okay, right there. Roger. Roger that. So I'm just going to put a small tail on this one. And this is what will help it imitate either the sedge or a large caddis. So I'm going to make my tail just a little bit less than half the length of the whole shank of the hook and give her a couple of wraps on there. I'm grab these fibers, hold them down, and get another couple good wraps on. There we go, we got our tail. Then uh, you cut the rest off. I'm going to grab the rest of this deer hair. And funny as it is, this is off of a little buck that Brad got early season. Remember that piece you gave me? Yeah. yeah. It's good stuff. Yeah, it's good stuff. A little white tail, I think it was. Yeah. A white tail deer. There we go. A nice little tail there spread out. Now I'm going to take a piece of my mono. Won't be useful or wasteful with it. There we go. I'm going to tie this in, and this is what's going to hold down our hackle that will imitate legs. 
on our sledgehammer. And we'll give that a snip. All right, so we've got a tail, a wrap in there. Now we're going to grab some dubbing. Go with a bit of a amber greeny dub here because that's a good uh, good generic color for these flies. And I'm just going to twist that right on the line. You can use wax if you want or a dubbing loop, but I'm cheating when time is of the essence. I mean, you're going to cheat, let's face it. And we'll give it a nice wrap. You can make this body a bit fatter than you would on a normal caddis fly, just because she is going to be a, a larger version to imitate a traveling sedge or a large caddis. And don't be too worried if you don't get a good taper on the first uh, first dub because uh, you still got to wrap hackle and take that uh, that piece of mono up to the front to give it a full wrap. All right, there we go. I'm going to take a piece of my uh, hackle here. This is just black. You can use brown. You can use just about anything as long as it looks like it's got some legs. I'm going to pull the fibers off the end of the feather that's closer to the bird and tie the butt in. Chop that there. Grab my little hackle plier just because I got one. And wrap towards the back of the fly. Try and make this even too, because you'll get a bit of sectioning, uh, sectioning out of it. Sex, sexy, sexy sectioning. And grab your piece of mono. And you're going to use that to anchor your hackle down. Now, just do a funny wiggle like that. You want to weave it in between those fibers, because if you don't, you're just going to tie them all down. It'll look kind of funny. So we just do a do a little wiggle. A hackle wiggle. Oh yeah. Wiggle wiggle. Ah. Wiggle wiggle with it. So <laughs> while you're doing that, I I gotta show people what's going on on my Facebook account right now. I gotta. You show them what's going think, on on your Facebook. Right I think now, everybody. Uh, has watched Fish or Duck Dynasty. Well, right now I've got a big, ugly ass beard, and I actually had a friend of mine. You were born with that. Take, <laughs> take some pictures, professional pictures of me with, uh, with my vehicle and their dogs and whichever. But we're having some laughs about it online right I'm now. Snipping that off. Now you can see we got legs. We got everything, Brad. You you do what you do. All right, you're all good there. I'm good here. Freeze, freeze frame for two seconds. Okay. More. I'll see if I can find it here. Screen share. I'm gonna go over here. Oh, and it's not up there yet. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna find it. <laughs> oh, that makes me chuckle every time I see it. There it is. Oh, there it is. So here we go. We're gonna go from there. That's looking pretty studly. Yeah. To the next oh. shot. <laughs> Look at that beard. Hey man, they should have me on Duck Dynasty. We're, we're doing our own thing here called Fish Dynasty. And there's his dogs. He wanted a thousand bucks for the photo shoot for lending me his dogs, but that wasn't happening. So anyhow, back to the flies. Who, who wanted a thousand bucks? Bryce Ronan. You know, as if farmers don't make enough money as it is. You want to rent me his damn dogs? As if they don't make enough dogs. That's right. Four dogs. You got them. Now, again, we'll give it two down low, one up top. There we go. We got some wing material here. 
You see we got a mess of legs. It's going to sit nicely on top of the water. You can take your scissors and give the top a bit, a bit of a chop. Do some cleaning around there. I'm going to give this a nice big fat wing. Because I want it to float. If you want as well, you can uh, hold a lighter up and singe the ends of the hair closed because that will help uh, keep some air in there. So there we go. There's our wing. Got our length. I'll give her a couple wraps before I tighten down. Pull tight. Pull tight. A couple more wraps. Pull tight. Now this is what I like to instead of trimming and then tying off I like to leave those long fibers on there so I can give a few good wraps on there and that helps hold up those uh, butts of deer hair gives it a bit of a head then as well while they're long you can get your whip finisher in there make sure things don't fall apart exactly <laughs> exactly and that is about all I do Gonna take my nice machete here. Give it finish that touch. thread. Yeah, finishing touch. If I'd sharpened it, I would have used it to trim the head here, but I haven't, so it's pretty sharp, but it's not that sharp. No. No, it's more of a hacker, that one. Yeah. A fine blade though. Got one beside the fireplace to make a bit of kindling. There we go, you can tease it up there. And you have yourself. Sedge hammer. The, the sedge hammer. Or uh -huh. traveling sedge. Get in. Let's get like we always show. do about this time. <laughs> I'm going to pull that palm off to the side so people can actually see that it's a Santa Claus hat. <laughs> oh December, goodness. Friday the 13th. Yeah. Unbelievable. Doesn't get any better than that, How we gentlemen. get down. <laughs> okay. All day, every day. Ben here, Pemberton and Fish Finder. Friday Night Flies recipe for the weekend. Chrome reels. Spinning away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what have you done? I don't know which one. It sounds like somebody dropped that one. Spinning away. <laughs> Give it another spin. Merry Christmas. I was a little late on that one. Oh, your re this reel's done. I, I don't know about it's that. It's had too many nights of Friday Night Flies. <laughs> <laughs>